Hello Libra, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. Personal readings are on sale right now. You guys can receive an hour Zoom reading for $50 and everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. All right, my loves. We are going to take a look at the next love coming towards you. I do want to warn you guys, I do have contractors in the house right now doing some work. So it may get a little bit loud at certain points and we're just going to try to push through it. Okay. So their next feelings towards you or <laughs> their next feelings towards you, the next love coming towards you, their feelings towards you. We have the three of cups, their intention. We have the six of wands. They have the six of swords for their next actions and behavior. So we have two sixes here. Your feelings towards them. We have the hangman. And the challenge between the two of you, we have the three of swords. So we have two threes and two sixes here. Wow. And we have the full card at the bottom of the deck. So to me, with this full, with this three swords being the challenge, to me it says that one, there's just probably been a lot of hurt here between the two of you. Um, it's also forgiveness, okay? Forgiveness and healing when it comes up in that in that way. So I do feel like there's somebody here is wanting a brand new beginning with you, and I do feel like they're taking action towards you here. They have this King of Wands right under it, the Star card, ready to take things seriously here with this King of Pentacles energy. Um, but I feel like. You could be a little bit hesitant or unsure. We have this seven of cups here. It's like, can I really believe this person? Can I really trust this person? So we have this three of cups. So somebody definitely wants to reconcile. That's their feelings. They want to come back together. They, their intention is a six of wands. They, their intention is to make this work, to make this reunion work, to come back together and make this relationship work, to make it successful. Um, the six of wands can also talk about recognition right? Um, maybe in the past, this person did not value you in the way that you deserve to be valued, or they did not see um, how much value you added to their life. Or maybe they did, and they just didn't express that to you. They didn't give you the recognition that you deserved. And I feel like that is their intention. They want you to know that they know how much you mean to them now. They understand that now. And they have the Six of Swords here. To me, the Six of Swords is a card of moving from a difficult time to a transition to a, an easier time. They want to get past things with you. Especially with this Three of Swords. It's like they're wanting to get past this difficult situation. The Three and the Six together making the Nine of Swords. So there's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of upset. A lot of sleepless nights between the two of you. And they're wanting to get past that. They're wanting your forgiveness. They're wanting to heal this. You have the Hangman here. It's a pause. You know, I feel like you're just taking a moment to try to see, like, is this person being genuine? Do they mean what they say? Um, you know, can I trust this? What's best for me? So I feel like you're trying to, to just take a moment to figure that out. We are going to start to clarify, okay? So tell me about this. Tell me about this Three of Cups energy. Why is this Three of Cups energy here for Libra, please? Why is the Three of Cups here for Libra? We got the Ten of Swords. So there could have been, for some of you guys, there could have been some kind of betrayal in the past or third party situation. Um, or there could have just been a lot of hurt that led to an ending here. If somebody did that, um, there's if there was that betrayal here, I feel like that's why the forgiveness is so difficult. Tell me about this Six of Wands. We got the Eight of Cups. And the Magician. So they know some of you guys, they, it could have just, they could have walked away from you. And I feel like they're realizing what mistakes they've made here. We have the magician energy. So, you know, really wanting to manifest this. And they, they fully do with the magician and the six of wands. This person is very, very confident. They fully believe that if you give them another chance that you guys are going to be able to get past this. That you guys are going to be able to make this work. Tell me about this six of swords. Why is the six of swords here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to take some time, though. The Knight of Pentacles is a card of planning and strategizing. It's a card of really taking your time. It's a very slow-moving energy. So I think that's important to realize that, yes, you guys can get past this. Yes, you guys can work through this if you want to and if you feel that's what's best for you, Libra. But 
I almost keep wanting to call you Gemini. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. I do see Gemini energy here, um, Libra. Some of you guys may be, you know, you guys can if you want to, if you feel like it's what's best for you. But it is going to take some time. And I think that that's really important to remember. That's why it's coming up here is because it's not something that's going to happen overnight. You're, you know, they say you can forgive, but you can't forget. And, you know, that causes issues of its own. And it's not that you can't heal and you can't work through it and you can't forgive and you can't, you can't have a successful reconciliation. But it's important to remember that those take time. They take patience, understanding, forgiveness, healing. It's not going to happen overnight. You have this hangman energy. Why is that here? We have the temperance. Exactly. Temperance is a card of transformation and change, but it's the slow and gradual. It's something you have to stay dedicated to. You have to work at every single day. It's the kind of transformation you see if you start going to the gym, right? You don't go three times and then have the body that you want. You have to stay committed to it. You have to stay dedicated. It takes time. It takes patience. Okay. So I feel like you guys are realizing that. And I feel like that's something you're looking at. Like, is this person really going to put the work in every day? It's easy to say it right now, you know, that they want it right now. But are they going to work at this every single day? Tell me about this three of swords. We have the three of wands. You're looking to the future. The three of wands is a card of future thinking and foresight, trying to look ahead and ask yourself, like, is this realistic? Um, the three of wands, though, is also a card of hope. Okay. It is a card of hope. You have the Knight of Wands. I feel like you don't trust this person to stay this way. You know, I do. I feel the Knight of Wands can be somebody who's like inconsistent. I feel like you're, you've are you seen this before in the past. So it looks like you guys do have a big choice to make coming up. I do feel like this is a past person that's coming towards you, this next love. And it does look like you guys have a big choice to make. Maybe you guys have been here before with them. But it's like you don't trust them to stay to stay consistent, to to work at it every day for a long period of time. You do feel like at some point they're going to revert back to old ways. And I think that's what you're afraid of here. Um, but that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.